Welcome to the Statecraft Guide on Trading the Black Market in Donations. Trading is integral in international cooperation, development, and the fungibility of resources. In order to make a trade, go to the Trades tab, propose a trade, click the country you want to trade with, how much of the resource that you need, or if you want a technology, you can click choose the technology that you want to get, and what type of resource. Then say what you want to pay with, how much of the resource you want to pay with, of how much, of what resource. And you can also pay with technologies. Then just click submit and enter your decision key. Trading is the only way that the world economy can change and be interacted with, so have fun with it. Some states will have better access to some resources, resources than others, so be sure to take supply and demand into account when making a trade. If you want to give a state a donation, trading is the way to do it. You can view your pending and past trades in the Pending and Completed Trades tab. See Country Trades, Completed Trades, Pending Trades. You can see what you've received and what you've sent. If you've received uh, a trade, you'll see an Accept and a Deny button. If you like the trade, you can click Accept. If you don't like it, you can click Deny and nothing will happen. As soon as you click Accept, the trade will happen. So it means you will immediately lose and gain the resources or technologies that you want to trade with. If you want to trade with a, re with a technology, you won't lose technology if you're trading with it. Now onto the black market. If you can't find anybody to trade with and you really need a resource, you can rely on the black market. In the black market, you can exchange three of any resource for one of another. This is a significant deficit, as you will learn. In order to access the black market, go to trades, black market trades, say how much you need, say you wanted 200 gold, and how much and what you want to trade with. Steel. So here you will lose 600 steel, which is a lot. The game considers that if you have that, you're rich in steel and you will only get 200 gold. So if you really need gold, you can do this trade, but you will lose a ton. So keep, keep that in mind. The black market is extremely useful, but it should be your last resort. You have plenty of time to find trades and you should definitely use it. Now on to the final topic, donations. Donations can be used in a few situations, such as this one cooperative goal that requires a certain amount of food donations. And there's a few different organizations you can donate to. Here's how you donate. Go to the donate tab and click on what, who you want to donate to. There's the, um, the terrorists, there is the IAEA, which I could never figure out what that, what, what that was, and the United Nations. This is how you will donate to get the cooperative goal. Um, for the cooperative goal, you'll need to donate a lot of food. So that'll be the main thing you can donate here. But as you can see in our game, nobody donated anything until some team decided to test it out with the scientific knowledge. And that's it for this craft guide. I'll see you in the next one.